How's it going everyone? King Blacktooth here. So I've just added a T emote to my Twitch channel, which is a perfect time to play some more Gwent. So this video is about Gauntero Dim. Now this is a monster card, silver card, which I used to consider quite bad. Uh, I used to call him Gauntero Shit, because he was quite bad, but they've changed him a little bit recently. Um, only slightly, but I actually rate him quite highly now. And I want to explain why I do so, what uses he poses for a lot of the various monster decks. And uh, why you should actually have him. What 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 things can he counter? And this is what this video is all about with Gaunter Explained. So Gaunter Dim is a 6 strength silver monster card. And he's on the siege row. And his ability when placed is to produce 3 1 strength units on the melee row. These are called shadows and are not breedable. Okay. And each one of those wounds the opponent for 1 damage randomly. So it's a random non-gold unit and it'll hit for 1 damage. Okay. So Gaunter Dim is 6. He produces three one strength minions and each one of those does one damage so he's worth 12 in total now he's not really flexible in terms of producing more than that you can decoy him and produce some more uh, another six strength value by producing another three one strength units which ping for three but apart from that he's not really going to do much else but there are some really good benefits to using gauntero dim so firstly gauntero dim is on the siege row so he's immune to things like Geralt ard okay which makes it really, really useful. He's not a massive strength, but he can help. You know, it's very, very vital to be on the siege row nowadays. So next, Gauntero Dim's shadows that he creates, he creates three one strength units on the melee row. These are prime targets for things like Thunderbolts. So if you're building a deck where you've got a lot of small units and you've taken Thunderbolt potions, that these work really, really well. You should obviously have other targets, things like Arrakis or Foglets or Wild Hunt Riders. But if they get lacerated when you place them down, Gauntero Dim is a backup and it's a really nice one. Okay, now if the shadows that Gaunter produces get lacerated, it's not the end of the world because they're only, you know, one strength value. So it wasn't that bad. Okay, You should have other things in your deck and that's just a, a fallback. But you can always decoy up Gauntero Dim and place them down again to produce some more. And so I think that was a worthwhile trade in general. And it always gives you extra targets for Thunderbolt, which is great. So excellent Thunderbolt targets. Now, you can also use the leader card Gels, and he's a hard one to use. He sets everything on a row to 6 strength. Now, Gauntro Dim and his shadows are perfect synergy for Gels. And the reason for this is, if they're the only things on the row, it falls underneath Gel Igni range. So, if you've got 3 units on a row that you use with Gels, set to 6, then you've got 6, 12, 18 strength, which is perfect to fall under Gel Igni range. Now, you can use it on Wild Hunt Riders, you could use it on Foglets, you could use it on Arrakis. But the shadows from Gauntero Dim give the greatest value because they're only one strength and it's the easiest combo to set up. Gauntero Dim, Gels, done. Okay? And you get a bit of wounding value when you use that as well. And most people won't remove it until there's some more stuff on the board. So, you know, really good synergy with Gels, Gauntero Dim. So, the next thing that Gauntero Dim is really good for is against. Squirtel Fireball Traps, okay, because Fireball Traps do 5 damage when you place a unit down, and then if they Blue Mountain Commando, they can keep flipping it back. And against monster decks which have a lot of low-level units, things like Fire Elemental, Wild Hunt Riders, Wild Hunt Warriors, Arrakis, you know, you're just going to get really, really hurt unless you're using big monsters like Fiend and stuff. But Gauntor Dim really just helps that deck along, because he's 6 strength, so he will survive a Fireball Trap. And then after the Fireball Trap is activated and hit Gauntro Dim down to 1 strength, he'll produce his Shadow, which will ping the Fireball Trap off the board. So you can activate a Fireball Trap and destroy it so they can't Blue Mountain Commando it with Gauntro Dim, which is really, really, really good. So the final thing that Gauntro Dim is useful for is if your deck is including Becker's Twisted Mirror inside it. So you create some 1 strength units that you can use in conjunction with Becker's Twisted Mirror, being the lowest strength unit on the board. And so this is a really good sort of tactic to try and utilize Becker's Twisted Mirror as, a, as an extra added bonus. So the next advantage of using Gauntero Dim is just the fact that when you place Gauntero Dim down, you get four units on the board immediately. Okay, so this is really good for things that can buff the whole board. Things like Yennefer, things like Iris, things like, you know, you've got a lot of really good strategy there with getting a lot of units down on the board quickly. And it also fills up your graveyard quickly for things like the Grave Hag, if you want to play that in the final round. So Gauntro Dim works best in a deck where 
Obviously, you've got a lot of small units. You've got Thunderbolts, you've got Gels, you've got Grave Hag. These kind of synergies. Um, he works really well in that sort of case. And, you know, Yennefer works well with Gauntro Dim. Gauntro Dim works well with Becker's Twisted Mirror. Yennefer works well with Becker's Twisted Mirror. So all of this kind of starts to meld together. You know, the, the shadows that Gauntro Dim creates are one strength, which works great with Becker's Twisted Mirror. Yennefer can buff them. A lot of them, which is really, really good. And she creates a one strength unit. So that's really good for Becca's Twisted Mirror. So all of this starts to really come together quite nicely. And Gauntro Dim has, you know, he's a very simple card. You know, he's just going to be 12 strength value. But he has a lot of good synergies that works around in a lot of different ways, which is, which is what's so good about him. Now, in terms of what weaknesses he's got, I, there's not really that many. Um, he's six strength. He can be removed by like, Alzor's Thunder, and then you can't get him back out if you wanted to decoy him. There's not much else you can do with him after you've placed him down, unless you do decoy him. He's not a great operator target, and he's not really a great swallow target or anything like that. So, really, you place him down, and if you're not going to decoy him, it doesn't matter what the opponent does with him. Okay? And, you know, he's, he's not flexible is probably the only thing I can say. He's... He is what he is. He's not going to get you massive strength. He's not got massive value of things like Ockfist, which have which have massive value if you can get him to work. Gauntro Dim is not. He's just the way he is. Fire Elemental, it could be really bad because it gets removed instantly, or it could be massively good because you're churning out lesser Fire Elementals every single turn. Gauntro Dim is, unless you're going to decoy him, it's just what he is. You know, he's 12 strength value, and that's it. That's really the only negative to go with him. He's got a lot of positives that go along with him as well. So that's generally what Gauntra Dim is all about. Okay, he's a solid card in my opinion. 12 strength value, but he's got a lot of really good attributes all around the game that he can help with. So I'm going to show you some clips where Gauntra Dim is being played to really good effectiveness. And uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and take care. I'll see you again very soon. I'll play against that Northern Round deck tomorrow if you'd like. Thanks for trying it out. Best of luck. You forgot to answer me halfway through. <laughs> well, the answer is no. 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 Thanks for trying it out. Best of luck. Well, it looks pretty interesting. You know. I'm excited. Keep at it, man. You'll do it. Yeah, a lot of people think at the end of the month. It's a weather deck. We're fucked. Everyone, run. <laughs> it's a weather deck. Wit tomorrow is Witcher 3. It is. Unless Ran comes out. Tomorrow is Witcher Wednesday. Golem is what, actually? You consume it with the... Those guys. And you get a massive amount of strength really quickly. Uh, tomorrow's Witcher Wednesday, where I play The Witcher 3. We just met Johnny. He lost his voice, if you want to tune in for that. Hope you do, that'd be nice. No, um, yeah. No, no, no. I think I've played it on stream every Wednesday for about three weeks, so three times. First time we got to some drowners and they beat the crap out of me. Second time we got to the Bloody Baron. Third time uh, we just got to Johnny. Brand in which are there any friends in Witcher Three? Imlarith, subject to change. What do you do? I would. He let me win. Oh wow! Really? That is surprising. 
King of Beggars? Well, it was only like five strength away. He could have just played Aerodin and passed. King of Beggars. What's he got in his grave, though? Foggos, Foghorn, Leghorns. Hmm. We could thin our deck with that first. Our lowest strength card is... Grave Hag. Woo, woo, woo. All right. Uh, we don't want Grave Hag right now. At last. Give it to me. All right. Our lowest card is now Necker, Iris, and everything else. All right. Remember Eridin Siri Pass? I remember those days. <laughs> that was a hard tactic. Monsters keeping golds. I think there is a bit of skill to Good it now. Grief. But I think people want more. Children. Less RNG, so you could use it in a Foglet deck and actually make some use out of it. Haven't seen any brands in Witcher 3. That's that's sad. Saddens me. He stole something from me. My heart. Oh, I love him! Neckers are four now. You're right, Neckers are four. So Iris is the best. So, we'll probably save all of this for next round and probably just do something. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, but you can keep the cow. Right, do we actually have a way of destroying Iris? Oh. We've only got Gordra Deer, but that seems very odd. Very rare. We may have put with. Iris in here without any way of actually removing her. So, interesting concept, everyone. Yeah, Wyvern would be definitely very good. I didn't take him if I didn't take Wyverns. <laughs> I changed the deck a tiny bit and we took Iris in and forgot to stick anything else in. The minimum number. Everyone has the minimum number. Yeah, but I mean, like you can have up to 40. Yeah, no one goes really over 26. Minimum being 25. Well, some people say maybe you should... The more cards you put in, the more golds and silvers you can get. You know, increase the cap, the more cards you put in, but I don't think it works very well. Did he get that from me? He may have done so. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't know that I can't destroy Iris. Um, I'm hoping he puts down a fog. I put Iris down and then, and then Gauntro Dim pings it for one. That'll be the dream. He just used Alzo's Thunder against me. <laughs> Does that sound? Yeah, it did sound kind of like that, didn't it? You got a message from the pig. Oh, what? It didn't even pull out the other Necker because of its bullshit. No strength. Oh, my lord. That is annoying. Real annoying. Fix it. Because it got mushroom, so it had only one strength, and then, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's what we're gonna do. Hopefully, he doesn't lacerate or something. Lacerated or something. <laughs> All right. So, how are things? You're ranked ten. Everyone's getting ranked ten. It's so good. Do the foglet. Mm.
Be agile. Oh, she's siege. I thought she was ranged. Right, we got it's 50 50. Either we hit it or we don't. That's the thing. We either hit it or we don't. I never cheat. Come on. Yeah, that's more like it. Well, right, I went from 20 to 53, so that's. What's that? 33 strength. <laughs> yeah! Get uh, the cowboy. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. Uh, what's he doing now? Commando or Horno? Right, he's gonna quit as soon as I do it, but. I mean, he's like super bad. But I'm bad mannered him, but I want to see what it is. Nineteen. L play one hundred to zero. <laughs> Snipes. What do you mean? Gauntro Dim is like the second closest card to my heart. Gauntro Dim. I really like him, even though. He's not flexible. I'm going to do a video about him. In fact, I think I'll make this the last game. Because uh, I want to finish that video. But I'm doing a video about him and that's going to go in there. Um, but he's like... He's not flexible. You know, he is just 12 strength. That's all you're really going to get for him. But he's got a lot of advantages that synergize well with him. Play monsters, so generally good. Maybe he's not so good. Gauntro Dim, okay. Don't really gen. Rip the Gwent. Ah, oh, yeah, I forgot about the Gwent Tracker. <laughs> forgot about that. Alright, that would be useful, wouldn't it? How you doing, Goran? Welcome, everyone. I'm feeling pretty good today. How are you all doing? Hope you're all doing well. You, your question seems to be King Bran. And I don't know what the question really is. <laughs> okay. Finally, a non tail streamer. Yeah, there's a lot of Squirtail running around. If I want to win Epic Laws, I'll, I'll go to Squirtail. If we want a challenge, we won't play them. <laughs> Do you I doing? look like a smudger to you? You lost a lot. Bad, bad day. So he got something from me. He's got one of my units. Um... Obviously, we hope it's Wild Hunt Rider. Uh, we'll see how we do. I'm not... I don't know. I'm alright. I'm feeling mar partially confident. My life. Gwertel is good, but boring to watch. I can agree with that. I think it might be interesting to watch in the final round. But the first round is obviously very boring to watch. Um... Because it's just, you know, first light chains. He stole my Vran Warrior. <laughs> uh, he couldn't be more pleased. He's a Vran Believer. I think he stole it from me. He stole a Disciple from me. Yeah, he, he didn't play Vran... Don't go thinking that he's actually playing Fran. Because no one ever does that. He got it from Johnny. That's not a real disciple of Fran. Okay? <laughs> it doesn't work that way. I love the reaction to Philippa, yeah. <laughs> I remember that one. I also I like my GG thing the most. Alright, interesting. Or maybe we'll just Thunderbolt. I feel like the K-Rin probably is coming, but I don't think he wants to do it there. And that's a bit of a waste, isn't it? For him. k -Rin there. I feel like it is, so... We'll do that. 
do what he does. Best non GG, yeah. <laughs> You're hitting it again. Loads of people got this right now. Oh, that's annoying. I was... Yeah, that is annoying. Okay. Not bad, not bad. So obviously, I, in in hindsight, I should have used Karanthia for the frost, and then that for the rain, but I, I he didn't know I've got Karanthia. So I didn't want to give him information. And we might have to pass after this. Geralt Igni is great. It works against almost every meta deck. It doesn't. No, it doesn't, does it? It doesn't work against Square Tail or Northern Realms most of the time. Oh, I'll take that. I think... I, I think I could still win this. Alright. So, Makuzi, uh, was that a joke, or... Damn, you're ugly. I'm ugly. Dude, I'm ugly. Dude, Mugly! My dog's called Mugly! Hmm. Right, we got we got Gondra Dim and Decoy, which is pretty good. We don't have Beckers again. Um, we might decide to do Karanthia instead. He's got a lot of strength there, but do we want to wait one more turn? That's the question. Let's just do this. Hopefully we destroy, or, well not destroy, but just do loads of damage. He doesn't want to K in it. See? We want another melee unit. It's actually hit the back row quite nicely there. He's just rallying, which would probably be a ghoul. Alright. We don't have to do it now. So it would have been a uh, way better to obviously use him later with the frost, ping, ping, ping. But um, we just didn't want to use it so early. All right, we can we can get that ghoul to produce some babies with the decoy. You can steal Vrand back or a good card. <laughs> oh, no, you don't don't say that. Let's say that. The skies, okay. My turn. It's a joke. Please no ban. <laughs> you ban. <laughs> Let's say that the temple. Right. So, um, hmm. I've, I've implemented some more emotes for you guys, but they're not. They're not through yet. They're not ready yet. I don't know if I've got anything good. Probably a wyvern is probably... Wanter Dim is pretty good. So let us that play. bad? Is that bad? Yo! <laughs> uh. <laughs> Go emotes. Oh, okay, I can show them. Do you do? Tick strengths. Alright. Now we can get 10 strength or we can try and go for something higher with a ghoul, I think. Um, you know. Odds are pretty against us though, so... Okay. Uh, what a, what a, what a, what a, 
Doo -doo. Does it, oh, Doo Doo doesn't do golds. Oh, that would have been great. Gauntro Dim. I think that's probably best. Now, we've got 10 strength, but he's worth 12, so he's actually worth more. And we're not going to see any weather. And he'll destroy the one strength My from the opponent, world. so I can get it for free. Perfect. Perfection. And Yennefer wins! Hey, there you go. Going to a Dim and Yennefer combo once again. The run, sorceress. For the win. Perfect Gaunter. Sniper O Dim. <laughs> exactly. Really nice there. Really, really nice. So, you know, Gaunter is 12 strength, and I got 2, 4, 6 extra. No, wait, 8 extra value just from playing Gaunter into Yennefer. Which is great. And I got rid of his, which is amazing.